Today I am going to do a video on my plans for Daisy's birthday party and kind of the steps that I'm taking, my process, and how much time I have. Um, I'm, I'm doing a outdoor party this year and so it's going to be a little bit easier than what I did last year, but I have just over a month to complete preparations and to get everything ready. I am going to be inviting children from her class that she was in, and so instead of it being more family-oriented, sorry, my nose is super itchy today, instead of being more family-oriented like it was for her first birthday, this is going to be more oriented towards kids and kind of her friends and, and that sort of thing. So in doing so, I wanted to have a space that was contained, but you know, where kids could be free to be kids and be messy. So our backyard was our logical choice. I wanted to do something close to home because we did just potty train. And so, and I know there's going to be at least two other kids there that are potty trained um, recently. So I wanted to have a place that was comfortable, a bathroom that was easily accessible. Um, and, you know, having having it at my house just made sense. I think next year we'll probably do something different. But this year it was just the right choice. And especially because we work so hard to have a house with a backyard. And I felt like we should just totally use it. And so because of that and because of the fact that we're going to have it in our backyard, we went ahead with a garden theme birthday party. And we did that because... Daisy loves our garden. She loves the idea of growing things. She loves bugs. <laughs> like, loves bugs. And, um, and just, just all of that. So I thought it would be really fun. And her name is Daisy. So, I mean, we had to play on that at least one year. But, um, yeah, so that was kind of the decision making. Oh, and she had a dress already with little butterflies all over it that she got from somebody for like her first birthday and it fits her right now. <laughs> so that helped play into it too, that I wasn't going to get her something special to wear. She already has, she may even have like two dresses that could fit that theme. So anyway, it was an easy choice for us and luckily we have a garden with flowers and plants so decorations would be minimal. And uh, yeah, so with that in mind, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you guys what my ideas are as far as how I'm going to go about executing this in a month, the budget that I've made, and um, and all of that, and kind of let you guys know what videos I'm going to do as I go along. So, with that being said, I didn't need a lot of supplies to do this. Um, most of my budget is going to go for food and, um, and like the, just other little things. I'm going to try and stick to a $200 budget, including food and drinks. And I, I feel like that's definitely possible. Um, we'll, we'll see as things go along, you know, uh, I'd love to stay under that, but there's a chance of course that... <laughs> I'll end up spending more, but that's kind of what I'm going to budget for, for next month, um, for the month of May, is to have $200 to put towards this party. So far, the only things that I've, I've done is I went to Target, and they, in their dollar section, I was able to find all of the party favors, and it worked out really well that it's spring, <laughs> and so um, I'm not going to give that away yet. I'm going to do a separate video, uh, kind of category to category, but we did already get the party favors, and I spent a dollar per child, so, and I spent $14 total, or 14 or 16, I can't remember, um, it may have been 16, because I may have been thinking of siblings, I don't know, anyways, it was either 14 or 16, hopefully that's enough, if not, hopefully I can still go back to Target, and, uh, yeah, and get more. I'm going to be making my invites this week. So that'll be the first video that I post will be a video on the invites and kind of showing you guys 
what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. <laughs> and this year I'm going for cost efficiency. So I'm making them myself, but I'm not making them scrapbook style like I did her. I didn't, I didn't actually share this, but I made her announcements when she was born, her birth announcements, um, scrapbook style. So I made them with scrapbook paper and stamps and all that, but it's, it gets expensive. And so this year I'm, um, for her second birthday, I'm doing, um, just as inexpensive as I can with, with still making them look nice. So that is the plan. So that'll be the next video to see, and it'll probably be by the end of this week, I'm thinking Friday's going to be my pregnancy vlog. So yeah, it'll most likely be Thursday or Saturday, <laughs> depending on when I get a chance to work on them. And then the video after that will most likely be on activities and my plans for the different activities that I'm going to have. And then after that, it'll probably be um, party favors and the making of the pinata. I'm going to make a pinata and I'm going to talk you guys through that and show you guys how I make that. And then after that, I'll probably do a video on decorations because I'll probably start making the decorations for the birthday. And that will include uh, one large decoration that I'm not going to give away yet, a birthday banner, and then just balloons. So I'll talk about the colors that we're going to go with in that vlog and then my last two videos will be about the cake and the food and I'm going to do those separately because I'm going to make both like all the food and and the cake myself so I'll do tutorials on those and kind of show you guys my plan and you guys will see the end result and how that turns out but yeah I hope you guys tune in to this next upcoming month I'll probably have a video a week I'm hoping, if not more, because I think I have more videos than weeks <laughs> until her birthday. But yeah, uh, so hopefully I can get to those and keep you guys posted. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, garden theme, if you guys think of anything that sounds awesome and you want to share with me <laughs> as far as ideas go, uh, please do. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I am on Pinterest, so I will try to link my Pinterest below. Well, not in this video, because my Pinterest has a lot of my <laughs> my ideas on it right now uh, that I'm going to go with. So maybe I'll wait and I'll link that. I'll link that in the video that I do. I'll link that in like my last video. <laughs> Um, but I will, I will share with you guys my Pinterest because I'm on Pinterest and I absolutely love it. I know a lot of, um, people don't like using it and they want to come up with their own ideas, but I think it's really fun to see what other people have done and play on that. And, you know, it's, it's all about sharing, sharing ideas and, and I think it's really cool, creative, uh, commerce. So, Yeah. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.